So this is the last Hercules, the original four that we bought. This is a 2020. We've had one fail from 2018, one fail from 2019, both due to manufacturer defect. And this one here, and I, I don't know how well it picks it up. But as you can see, these ribs are raised and this one is in. This one's inflated to 95 PSI, just like the rest of these tires. So this tire here is at 152 PSI. The rest of these are all at, uh, sorry, 152 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. These ones are all about 135. Um, we just got back from a two and a half hour drive. So clearly it's internal failure of this tire. It's um, starting to make itself evident, but like I said, if you didn't check the temperatures, you might not catch just that difference in tread depth across the tire. So my guess is this tire is gonna fail. So these are $230 tires. Now I'm in an awkward position of, do I replace it or do I just wait for it to fail? So here's another Hercules. As you can see, these are smooth straight across all four ribs in the same tread height. Um, that tire is 140, 134 in the mo. So between 134 and 140. Um, that was on the sunny side, the shoulder side. So this one, we've already started replacing these with these Primo haulers. You can see this one's 133, 137 across. Uh, smooth across the tread face. Um, this is our other Hercules. Smooth across the tread face. And between 132 and 140 across. So this tire on this side is 10 to 12 degrees hotter than the other three. Um, and it's the only one that is wearing it regularly. So... If you're considering these Hercules tires, do not buy them. They're not worth the money. Just get something else that's cheap because these are very expensive compared to the other all-steel tires. And I just don't see how they're worth the money. Um, this tire right here is 14 ply rated compared to the 12 ply H901s. This is an all-steel. These are made in China. These are made in Thailand. They're both all-steels. Um, so these have a little capacity of 30, over 3,500 pounds per tire. These are like 30, uh, 3,200 pounds per tire. So with a 14 ply, you're basically getting the load rating of a 16 inch uh, 235, 75 load range E. So to me, that's the way to go. And we're just gonna keep replacing these Hercules with these things and keep an extra one with us. So anyway, I'm very disappointed in the Hercules. I have reached out to them over and over again to try and get them to except this last tire that we had to warranty, which is actually laying right here from our last trip. You can see from the way that it's wearing that it is messed up. So, um, you can see how this is separated and the ribs are really uneven. This one's like an extreme example. We had another tire fail the same way last summer. So, I would say this one will look like that after another trip or two. We've already got that difference in tire temperature, which is why it's so important after trips to, during trips, every time you stop to check your temp. So this one's noticeably, like you can feel it with your hands, but one of these costs like 15, 20 bucks these days, but you check your tire temp and you can check down here and get an accurate idea of your bearing and brake temperatures. So if you don't check those regularly, you won't know what they should be if there's a problem. So buy one of these, check um, check your tire temp and your, your bearing temps um, every single stop. And that way you can catch a problem like this tire, maybe before it starts. So we're probably going to get this one swapped out and um, maybe another call to Hercules warranty department, see if they'll give me any kind of credit on these. This is ridiculous. Very disappointing for such an expensive, high-rated tire.